Kirk, he got some big feet, and those were just some regular, everyday shoes he had on. Hmm. That's what I remember about that show. So it was that bad? No. That you it, were it was, looking at? Yeah. Now you sound like Zach. No, I was that you see, You see I'm making noises over here. I'm telling you. I was like, hmm, he just got big feet, huh? I, <laughs> I didn't say it. And with that, let's go to Zach with entertainment news. So y'all heard all this Bill O'Reilly stuff going on, right? Yeah. So, I'm Mr. O'Reilly. Yes, right. Well, apparently Fox let him go. But it's not over yet. The accuser, Perkita uh, Burgess, tells The View she sat down yesterday, which I actually saw it, and gave us the whole glass of tea on what he yes. used to do. Okay. Well, she explained that when she was sitting down um, on her first couple of days of the job, like he would pass, and at first he didn't say anything to her, so he would just pass and like kind of make grunts and like noises like, mm. and she thought, oh, he's just having muscle spasms or something. Well, fast forward three or four weeks, weeks later, they were on an elevator together, and so he didn't say anything. And so when she walks off the elevator, he is behind her, and he's like, you're looking good there, girl. <laughs> and I guess she that didn't sit well with her. Really? That's all? Human. Right, right. I would have been like, thank you, Mr. Right, Bill. Thank you. But, right? <laughs> so then, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Say it it is Fox Thank you, Mr. Now. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, one day. Is that what the, the Cosby lady said? I'm right. sorry. <laughs> No, so then one day, uh, she she says that he walked by her desk, and keep in mind, at this point, she's not really looking at him or paying attention to him. Like, she feels uncomfortable. And so he walks by, and today he talks to her and says, hey, hot chocolate. Mm. Um, but she didn't oh. look up or say anything, and she was like, I didn't just respond. I was mortified by not only his sexual attitude, but it just took me to a place I didn't really like. I don't see anything. You know what? I think that I think that this is probably the worst person that could have spoken up right. about this story so, because this doesn't even sound, at least not to me. Now, right. people are different. Now, she works at Fox News. And they tend to be a little more stuck up and a little more on but edge he, than anyone else, if you ask me. It sounds like he just complimented her. Well, yeah. like, he oh, said she hot got chocolate. Hot is, chocolate. Is, is, is this a sister? Yeah, yeah, this is a black woman. Yeah, and she worked at Fox oh, News. So it's um, almost like now the other women are getting discredited. For exactly. This weak story that, that she did. First, that's why she came out first, though, because but she knew her weak. story was the weakest. She should have came out last. If my boss walked in here and called me hot chocolate, like I don't, I, thank you. Like I, I, that's not offensive. That's not offensive. Let's stir it up. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. So I don't understand. I mean, maybe, like I said, I wasn't. I, we were. We were not there, and and she probably has a different perspective on life. Blah, 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 but I, on paper, I don't, I don't see. I can understand I if you anything. work your way up to a certain level, then you expect, you know, a certain degree of respect. Mm. That I understand. But the stuff, I, I guess, with all of these allegations and him having to pay out, you know, him along with Fox News, having chocolate. to pay off ten million dollars. Now, of course, there were several lawsuits, right? Right. But right. this by far. It disappoints me that this is the first. This, <laughs> this is, is the you pettiest think story. That this would be juicy. Right. That they brought her on the view. <laughs> yep. Well, She's gonna we spill the tea. We about to sit you down with Whoopi. We're about to yeah. find out exactly Whoopi's what went down. Exactly. Oh, Whoopi's ready to go off at any moment. We're about exactly. to have another woman's march. And they like. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make sure that Bill O'Reilly never hey. works again in the country and of America unless it's with Donald Trump. And says this. Garbage trash. Well, he, so, well, he told me my booty looked good when I got out the elevator. What? And he didn't even use the word booty. He didn't even her. use he the word booty. Said, looking good. Looking good, that girl. Okay, and so her hot chocolate. So what's wrong with him just being old-fashioned and just asking her out on a date? And just old. And I mean, just or saying, he could hey, I find you attractive. Would you like to go to lunch after the show? Well, like, I don't think wrong? he was trying to spend any th dollars I, on her. Yeah, he wasn't trying to spend unless no dollars. he was tossing them in the air because he yeah. seems like that character. <laughs> okay, but my, but, but here's the thing about it. You, listen, you can do all that once you, once a relationship builds up to that. I'm like, what's wrong with just approaching a woman no. and just saying, but hey, you're, let's spend some you're time also together talking about outside? Bill it's Bill O'Reilly. He's not asking it's anyone on a date. He's black. just making comments. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is just the way his the way that he his demeanor towards women in general. What what's the comment that they? Uh, I, I wish that I knew who it was that was uh, they were interviewing yesterday, uh, where she was talking about the fact that we played the clip. Do we still have the clip, Tony? Uh, where she yeah. said that uh, he was like, "Oh, all you blonde women look alike." Uh, and yeah. then at the end of uh, the segment that it is that they did, he said, "Thank you for your blondness." <laughs> And it just shows you how he, much respect he has for women in yeah. general. Black women, yeah. white women, women of color, women that may have four toes, women that may be uh, six foot five, eyeballs. women that matter. may be three foot four. He doesn't yeah. care. <laughs> he has no respect for women. And I no. get that. I'm saying to him, if you if you want to, like, be that dude at work, there's a way that you can dump, you could have done that and still. Care. You said a stack of money on her desk. 
and then you call her the hot chocolate, and I bet you she wouldn't have said a word. Probably not. Not one word. Or you do like our president, just go on in and start grabbing. Just grabbing. Yeah, yeah. just grab it. Just grab it. That's how you do it. And that was the only person that came out defending Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> was, was, was our, was our was president. president. And, and that completely exactly. justifies my comment that the yesterday. only job he's going to yep. have is that Donald Trump is going to appoint him to an office, probably something <laughs> over energy that he has no knowledge of <laughs> whatsoever. He's going to build women's gonna, affairs. And then he's going to set him up to run for president. And he's going to be... In 2020. He, yeah. And apparently he's going to be running against Kanye West exactly. since he already well, announced no, they're going to be on the same ticket. They're going to yeah. be on the same ticket. It's going to be Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly and Kanye West on the same ticket. Yeah. You think... Wow. So, so if Kanye really follows through, you think he's going to run for Republican? Yeah, I mean, he was all in Trump. He was the first celebrity to come out in, in full support of Donald Trump. Yeah, but then he also reneged and went on his Twitter account and said... Oops, what was I doing? Look at my stepdad. Hold on. Let me think about this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, 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 that's what really happened. <laughs> That's what really That's happened. That's exactly. He was like, hold on, let me pipe down. Yeah. This is what I got to go home No, to. let me put the pipe down and let me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me reconsider some things. Well, one thing, one thing I like that about Bill, because Bill's like, what, 72 years old? That tells me that, uh, hey, at, at the mid-70s, you're still trying to do it. Still got See, some happy feelings in that? Still, still got some happy it. feelings, though. So I look forward. I'm looking forward to my 50s, 60s, and 70s because Bill is still yeah. putting it down. But they pull a little Bill book. got a couple books. years to go, Tony. A couple That's years. I got couple a couple. Years. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was glad to hear Michelle use the term toss it up. I never heard Michelle use that phrase before. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Let me see you toss Michelle it up. Michelle with, with the ghetto term. <laughs> Did I say that? Right. <laughs> I would never. I would never speak in such vernacular. Oh, boy. <laughs> Happy feelings this morning, y'all. Frankie Beverly and Mays.